Hey guys, welcome to Ravenclaw Reads. I'm Courtney and today I'm taking you on a day in my life. I don't really do this because all of my um, usual videos are just like book reviews or book wrap ups or TBRs, but I thought I would kind of give that side of my life and see if that's the direction that we might go on this channel as well. So um, a little bit about me, I am a 40 year old woman living in Minnesota. Uh, I have a work from home job. Um, well, I should say it's hybrid. We do go in as needed, but the majority of my time is at home. Um, and I work in the equity, diversity, and inclusion space. I am a mom of two, a 16-year-old and a 10-year-old, and my baby boy, my dog. <laughs> um, they are on summer break, obviously. So um, this is going to be an interesting day. I'm just coming back from vacation. So I took vacation Thursday, Friday, Monday. Today is Tuesday the 13th. Um, and I'm just trying to catch up. So I popped on today. I had 96 emails. So I went through all of those, tried to flag the ones I need to go back to reread, made a to-do list. My to-do list is kind of crazy right now. Um, but I only have a couple of meetings today, which is great because in the past I have sort of set myself up for failure when I come back from vacation and I end up having a ton of meetings that day and can't get things done. But today... I have block time off on my calendar to get those things done. Um, so I'm excited. I'm starting off my day with an Alani Orange Kiss. It's my favorite flavor, but it's hard to find unless you're in store. Um, and what else am I going to do today? Okay, so have those meetings, have the work. I'm probably going to run to Barnes at some point today because it's new release Tuesday and then I have to run to the grocery store I'm making beef and broccoli tonight however I need rice for those that eat rice and I need a little bit more beef there's not enough beef um so I'm gonna do that and then I kind of want to run to Target and get a notebook uh since it is school supply season I love school supplies my kids don't which is a shame but I've been using this notebook um which I got from Amazon and I've been using this in lieu of a my iPad I was an huge iPad writer but what I was finding was really hard to find my notes when I got done writing so I started going more analog um, but I'm almost out so I need to get another cute notebook um, so that's what I'm gonna work on today so join me as we try to start the day together Good morning. I'm good. It was good. We just kind of like did staycation. We were going to... still just finishing up work but I had to hop on for a second because I'm sitting here I like to move throughout the day so like the morning I start downstairs and I go up to my desk then I come down for a little bit um, from the kitchen table to the floor um, mostly during the summer because obviously my kids are here and I don't want to just leave them all day if I can help not leaving them by themselves uh, obviously they can come up and talk to me but um, so I've been sitting here for like an hour helping a teammate um well one of my employees one of the people on my team was on leave and she was helping somebody else develop a survey and I was like oh I'll help because I know how to do the surveys little did I know that part of the survey included a drop down menu where I needed to cut and place cut and paste 127 numbers and names <laughs> So, I've been sitting here 
what's 127 plus 127? I don't know. How many times I cut and paste? My fingers hurt. My neck hurts. Uh, but excited that it's done. So I had to hop on, like, be excited about it. But I'm about to sort of wrap up for the day, send this survey to my co-worker and make sure it looks good for her and her needs and then I'm gonna exercise because that is what gets me going alrighty I am getting ready to exercise I kind of have a little exercise area upstairs um, and I opted to do this because I refuse to go to a gym I've tried gym memberships they never work out because you gotta get in your car to go and I just can't do it so let me just get you turned around so this is my little corner of the world I have the exercise bike the various weights I have a treadmill in my room um, but I use the beach body bike and so um, this is day four so it's Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday um, so I think I'm gonna do bike cycle and core um, if you do beach body, you know the, the folks. There's two people that I like the most. It's Autumn and Megan. It really just depends on what you want. If you want to go like turbo speed and nobody cares, like they don't care if you live or die, go to Autumn. If you want to go very um, challenging but compassionate, go to Megan. So I'm going to Megan today. Yesterday I did autumn for legs and I was dying granted I was probably hungry and I did not eat beforehand but my goodness I was ready to like pass out so I'm gonna do this one cycle and core um 30 minutes on the bike it's a great stress reliever I put my headphones on listen to the music that I want to listen to I put the captions on here so I know I can follow the movements and I'm off and running so that's what I'm gonna do I have this water my protein water um, this has whey protein in it. It's very good. I suggest it from Amazon. And um, this is only my second time getting it. Um, but I'm trying to get between 80 and like 110 or so grams of protein a day. This is an easy 20, right? Because you're going to be thirsty. You're going to drink. Um, I usually only drink water, coffee, and Alani. So might as well make one of these flavorful. So that's what I'm going to do. Alrighty, post-workout, sweaty, hot, gross. I'm going to hop in the shower. I usually, I mean, it's kind of gross. I usually don't after a regular workout, but if I'm sweating a ton, I like to get the shower in because obviously I've been sweating. But something I like about the um, bike for beach body is the stats they give you at the end, so I'll just show you. So after every time you exercise, it tells you how long you worked out, how many calories you burned. Um, your zones and your zones are set up by your own stuff so really cool and I only did half time on the bike today so it's half core and half bike so really cool stats all right hop in the shower all right it's now later in the day it is about 4 57 exercise shower did the whole thing and this is the time of the day where everybody's just kind of chilling hanging out I'm gonna start cooking I have come to terms with the fact that I am not an expert chef I don't play one on TV. I like to cook, but I only know a few things. So I'm trying to try some different things, a little bit healthier items. So there's some eating candy corn. We found them at the store today. Um, and I love them. Me and my youngest love candy corn. I don't know why people don't like them, but we love them. Okay, so I found a recipe for beef and broccoli. So I've been marinating beef with cornstarch, soy sauce, hoisin. Um... What else is in there? I think that's pretty much it. And now I'm going to make a sauce. Um, and then I'm going to heat the meat, the beef, let it kind of par cook just a little bit, and then take it out, cover it. I have two types of broccoli, frozen and regular. I think it'll be fine because I have to steam them both anyway. Um, I guess this will be softer, but I just want lots of broccoli in it. And then we'll put the sauce on it. So that is what I'm gonna work on. Okay, so I could not film and mix the ingredients because um, I'm using the recipe on my phone. But basically, it's cornstarch, salt, pepper, sesame seed, oil, white wine, vinegar, 
um, did I say cornstarch? Oyster sauce. And this is gonna be like the mix to go over the beef and broccoli um, so it can thicken up. So they say make this, I'm gonna set it aside and start on the beef. later in the day dinners happen i meant to show you the finished product of dinner but that never happened um we just our dinner table is so full of laughter and jokes and we just started like these talking games and so i just didn't even think about picking up the camera while i was eating um and then we are deep in degrassi um we are watching it all of us have watched it except my youngest um, but now my youngest is watching it with us as a family so we can explain things. But it's a really good show and the drama is unmatched. Um, so we watched some, a couple episodes of that. Maybe just one episode of that. And then um, we came upstairs to organize my youngest daughter's room. She's going into sixth grade. And so I wanted to make sure that she has a desk. But so far it's just been like a landing spot. And so we wanted to make sure that it is being used to like do her homework for later on. So did that and now I'm sitting down. I'm so happy that I actually showered after my workout. 
um, because now I have like the whole evening to do whatever I need to do. Reagan's reading, she's my youngest. Um, and usually we read together, but tonight she's reading on her own, so that's great. And I have a couple things that I'm gonna do. So um, last week I started in this um, Aura Estelle planner. I got the idea from Olivia Reads a Latte, and I really liked the idea of just like tracking what I'm reading each day. And so if you see on this page, you have just like your regular days of the week if you were using it as a planner, and then you have a blank page on this side. So what I did was um, just wrote down each day what I read, and then these are the finished books that I read in the summary. Now, I don't know how that will play into the other ways that I track my books, because I track them in many ways, including in this, um, which is just where I put the cover of the book and then a flat lay um, of the book along with like some tropes and a little summary. And then I also have a digital way. So, I mean, there's lots of ways that I'm tracking them, but it's really fun to talk about the books to me. And this planner is so cute. I couldn't pass it up and it was on sale for like $10. Um, so you can't pass it up. So I'm going to update for today um, or actually for yesterday because yesterday was Monday. I messed up because I am, um, I took yesterday off. Yesterday was Monday. And I read 98 pages of Pecking Duck and Cover. So I'm going to write that. And then I'm going to try to read like another 100 or so pages today. So I like to get this finished. I was trying to finish it today, but I didn't realize I had 200 pages left. I'll try to finish it tomorrow um, at the latest. And then, well, after dinner, I was thinking about what book to read on my Kindle. And I just happened to pick up Canadian Boyfriend. It's on my Kindle because um, I bought it a while ago. And so I'll probably read that. And then I think I want to read The Love of My Afterlife, which I got from Book of the Month Club this month as an add-on. And I've been seeing it everywhere. This cover is just so cute. Originally, I didn't think I wanted to read this um, because it was like, you know, she dies. She has to find her true love. She comes back. It just didn't sound like my thing. But now I feel like it's just exactly what I want to read. So I'm going to put that by my bed too. Because if it's by my bed, there's a little osmosis happening that I'm going to read it. So I'm going to do that. And then I want to work on my notion tonight. Um, so Olivia reads a latte. I'm one of her patrons. And she has a reading sprint. She posted. It was like five hours. I'm not going to do five hours. So it's eight o'clock at night. But I'm going to use it to do some productivity, productivity things. So I'm going to try to fix my notion and update my reading planner and read um that's the goal i recently revived my notion because i've tried for like two years to do notion unsuccessfully um but i found a new youtuber jenna hong and she had a a notion template that was like exactly what i needed i've seen other templates but you have to do so much with them this template's like set up like linked all you have to do is put in your own words that's exactly what i needed to get started on it and so I made some edits to it and they didn't save for whatever reason. So I need to go back and do that. So just a couple of things I want to do tonight that are just things that I enjoy doing. Um, I will film some of that and then wrap up the day in the life today. And we'll see what the footage looks like. I've never done like a day in my work from home life. And so we'll see what we got. But um, let me go do some of these productivity type things.
Okay, well, I'm going to end the vlog here. I get my first attempt at a day in the life. I am just going to continue reading and then get ready to update um, all of my reading journals and tracking and then edit this video. So if you liked this content, let me know in the comments below. Um, also check out my regular content, which is just all bookish things. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also share this channel with somebody else that you think will enjoy it. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.